Hello everyone. I'm Dauda Yusuf for CapacityBay.org. I'll be your instructor for today, and today we'll be looking at CSS box model. Um, so without further ado, let's get to, to what we have for today. And so I'll be making use of a Visual Studio Code text editor, and I'll be making use of a Chrome browser. So. I've, co I've created um, an index.html file. I've also created a style.css. We'll be styling what we have for today. And then I'll, I'll, like, to, I'll like to explain to us that um, when dealing with um, CSS books model, we, we should picture, we should have it in mind that every, every element is looked at as a box in CSS, be it a button, a span, a div, a text, everything is enveloped in a box and this box could be a square, it could be a rectangle. So I'll be making use of a div today to be able to visualize the box model for us to have an idea of what the CSS box model entails. So we having a div and our first div, I'll give it a class, a class of um, box one, box one, box one, sorry. And then we have the second div with a class of box two, a class of box two, box two. And then the the content of our div will be a text, and I'll give this a text capacity capacity, and our second text will be bay. So we have capacity bay, and then we save this, and then we we'll come to our style of CSS. So what I like to do first and foremost is to adjust everything we have on our page to the left corner of our page so we give it a padding a padding a padding of zero and then we give it we give it a margin a margin of zero also and then we save this so when we come here to our chrome and then we refresh we have capacity and we have bay and so in the box model we'll be looking at we'll be looking at padding we'll be looking at margin we'll be looking at the height we'll be looking at a border and we'll be looking at the width those are the properties we'll be using to position the elements that we have which we have already created as divs like i said you picture everything in css as a box be it a uh, a div, a button, a span, a text, everything. So it's not it's not clear to us that we have a box. So let me make it make that clear. So let's give our our first our first div with the class name of box one a background color. Let's give it a background color of red. Okay, and give our second div a background color a background color of blue blue and then we save this and then when we come to our chrome and then we refresh you can see we have two rectangular boxes like i mentioned the rectangular box is has a content of capacity and the content of b so you picture everything as a box and now we 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 have padding we have margin we have a border so let's add a border to both of our boxes to get a clear picture of what the border looks like so we give this a border border of 10 pixel solid and with the color of let's say color of purple purple 
and then we save we come the next one and give it a border of border of 10 pixel also 10 pixel solid um let's say black black and then we save both of them and then we come here and we refresh as you can see we now have a border enveloping the the background of our text which is capacity a border of 10 pixel round and uh, a border 10 pixel black for the second box now i would like to explain before we make use of the property margin and padding now what happens in margin margin happens inside the border margin happens padding i beg your pardon padding happens inside the border while margin happens outside the border so when you want to affect the the background of what's inside the border we make use of padding and when you want to affect the content of the whole box entirely change like adjust the position you make use of margin now margin happens it occurs between two objects so let's make use of the first property the first property i mentioned was padding let's make use of padding and let's see what padding does so let's give it a padding of 20 pixel and we we'll give the second div a padding of 20 pixel to 20 pixel and then we save this and then we come over here and then we refresh we can see that there was a significant change in the surrounding like the con the, the, the surrounding of the text that's enclosed inside the border so padding happens around the text around the content of the box and the content of our box is a is a text capacity and bay so padding happens around the content of the box and close inside the border so now there was there was there was a significant change in the size of both boxes now it seems as if we have just one box with different colors so we have to use margin now to be able to separate these boxes from one another so we make use of the property margin so when we give this a margin margin of let's say 60 pixel pixel we save this and then we come over here and then we refresh now you can see that there's a margin of 60 pixel the our, our box has changed its position what margin have what, what what happened was that there was a margin there was a margin here 60 pixel up 60 pixel bottom 60 pixel left and 60 pixel right now let's give our second box a margin also let's give it a margin margin Let's give the margin also of 60 pixel 60 pixel and then we save this now watch closely what happens if you if you do this you see the box position has changed there's 60 pixel left and there's 60 pixel right but the box did not go down there was no 60 pixel top or bottom so what happened what happened this occurs because margin collapses between two elements that are next to each other so whichever of whichever of the elements has the highest margin both elements will just share the margin of one of that element so margin collapses between two elements that are next to each other so as you can see we have successfully adjusted the position
padding we gave it we gave both boxes padding of um padding of 20 pixels so the padding what happens in, is you have padding top 20 padding right 20 padding left 20 padding bottom bottom 20 and then margin also the distance around the border margin is the distance around the border while padding is the distance around the content of the box which is a text in our in 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 our in our project at the moment so you you make use of okay if we try if we try to change the height now we initially we spoke about the fact that we're going to make use of the height property so if we say height if we say height let's give the height of 80 pixel 80 pixel and then we save this and then we come here and then you see the height of our object has changed but there's a particular property i would like to share with us before before the end of this video and that property is box sizing so we make use of box sizing box sizing and the box sizing we give it box border box border and then we save this now watch closely what happens now if we save this we have our box readjusting so what happens the box border makes the height and the width account for the padding and the border so our height and width is going to account for the padding and border so whatever height and width we've given while adding padding to our padding property to our object it's not going to affect the height that we've given already and then the width also so i just hope you found this video very helpful and then you 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 try to practicalize what we've done in this video and i hope you like our video and you click the subscribe button so you get notified for subsequent videos that will be dropping uh thank you very much for your time uh I'll see you in our next section.